The Africa Center of Excellence for Climate Smart Agriculture and Biodiversity Conservation is one of the 24 specialized regional centers of excellence in Eastern and Southern Africa established by the government of Ethiopia and the World Bank to develop the human resources required to bridge skill gaps in climate smart agriculture. The center started its operations in October 2017. Professor Bob Badadi is the deputy central director and a founding member of the center. Our main aim is producing quality graduates in climate smart agriculture and biodiversity conservation. So for that we have developed a strong curriculum with our partners, international and regional partners, and we are now implementing that uh, curriculum. The center has two master's programs, one in climate smart agriculture and another in biodiversity conservation and a PhD program in climate smart agriculture and biodiversity conservation. Our plan is to improve the quality of education and research and the community engagement in the area of climate smart agriculture and biodiversity conservation. To establish itself as a strong Africa center of excellence, the center set up what putting requirements in place to set it apart as a center of excellence. They designed the curricula, purchased equipment such as smart boards for the lecture rooms and video conferencing facilities and furnished apartments for accommodation of regional students. In addition to senior faculty members at Haramaya, the Center of Excellence invites guest lecturers from different parts of the world to drive research and teaching excellence. This is important since the relevance and quality of postgraduate training is dependent on the qualifications and competence of the teaching staff. The center planned to produce 30 PhD graduates and 80 MSc graduates within five years. Several cohorts of masters and PhD students have successfully completed their studies and this target on student enrollment has been achieved. Ms. Tegesikabru is researching the different tillage practices in onion production. The objective of my uh, research work is uh, on the, uh, evaluating the effects of conservation tillage practice uh, on onion productivity and also soil physical chemical uh, properties. Onion productivity in Ethiopia is low compared to the other African countries. Studying the different tillage practices will give more understanding on how to manage improve its productivity. Most research have been done on cereal crops, which are uh, based on conservation tillage practice. On the root crops, the effect is not really have been studied, so I would wanted to uh, know what is the impact of conservation tillage practice on root crops, such as onion. Uh, and also, uh, I, uh, I just want to uh, see the impact of this tillage practice and mulching on soil physical chemical properties. Uh, actually, we so far admitted about four cohorts of students. So the first cohort students, uh, especially the master students, have uh, already completed, all of them have completed their studies, they've got their degrees. The second cohort students have also, uh, most of them, I think uh, they have uh, graduated, they have completed their studies. But the PhDs, uh, the first cohort PhD students are now towards completion. Uh, the, some of them are submitting, some of them are just finalizing, the, writing the final publication. Uh, the, most, most of them are published actually, and they are communicating with, the, with their advisors to compile the dissertation and submit for, uh, for defense. So, uh, by the way, strategically we uh, admitted most of our PhD students during the first installment because we wanted to make sure that they finish within the project period. Yeah. So 21 of our PhD students were admitted during the first cohort. Then after that, we, we took 
smaller numbers. Marta Kedemu is a researcher at Ethiopian Environment and Forest Research Center. She joined the center to study for a PhD in climate smart agriculture and biodiversity conservation with a focus in soil and water management. Her research about spatial distribution of soil organic carbon and fate under future climate and land use change in Western Hadarke in Ethiopia explores the potential of carbon marketing from soil. Data explaining the current status of soil organic carbon, uh, which is updatable, which can be up updated in time and even in, in space. This will help small order farmers to benefit from carbon trade. Because uh, uh, as it is known, soil carbon uh, data is scarce, it is rare because it is costly. So what I'm planning to do is to model using small uh, number of samples so that we can predict or we can estimate uh, to other places uh, where there is no measured data using satellite data and easily available data. The center admits students from Eastern and Southern Africa and elsewhere. To create a conducive learning environment, the university has reserved two apartment buildings to accommodate regional students on campus. The apartments are fully furnished and have internet connectivity. Uh, the support from the center is uh, very good. I can say it is very good. I have accommodation. Uh, I have uh, my daughter with me because I have accommodation and I have uh, access for school for, for my daughter. Uh, so I'm learning just with my family, uh, with supporting my family. To pursue academic excellence, the center has attracted renowned scholars from the region and internationally to deliver full or short courses. We also engage uh, instructors from the region. So depending on uh, the curriculum, the requirement of the curriculum, whenever we, we uh, find it that it is important to attract uh, regional staff, we engage regional staff so that uh, the curriculum has good regional flavor. So we also in invite international staff the extensive collaboration with different experts through faculty exchanges, joint research and conferences, and sharing of resources is a building block to excellence. It is like there are so many stakeholders, like there is a collaboration from different universities, uh, and that is the other one, there is, there is also staff exchange and, that, and students exchange. I have been teaching uh, different courses for students from different African countries, so it is not common for the other programs to have such student exchanges so that you can learn from others and you will also share your experience. So that is the basic thing which makes this center different from the other programs. The center has organized short courses on food security, climate modeling and biotechnology. We conduct short courses for the postgraduate students. We also organize short courses for the community, for the stakeholders. So depending on, sometimes we, uh, we are based on their interest. So sometimes they may come up with an idea and then they, they tell us we want training on this area. So we develop a, a sort of a short course curricula and then we deliver short courses. For example, recently we organized a short course in waste management for the uh, community around here. The center is developing partnerships with the private sector, local governments, and grassroots communities to enhance its impact on development. Through the center, Harama University is implementing a climate resilience rainwater harvesting project for domestic use in collaboration with the Environment Protection Authority of Harare, the Ethiopian Water Institute Technology, and other partners. If the pilot is successful, it will be rolled out to other schools. One of the drought prone uh, areas in the region, uh, half of the community, most of the time, there are a minimal uh, rainfall, uh, all average yearly. So the only way to develop resilience is by uh, harvesting uh, the existing uh, minimal uh, rain per year. So uh, as a result of this intervention, we have managed uh, to implement this uh, project jointly 
uh, with Haruma University and uh, uh, there are uh, other stakeholders including the school community and uh, parent-teacher associations. The center is enhancing collaboration with industry such as Harar Berweri to produce innovative solutions with real impact. The main uh, agenda for that memorandum of understanding is just to work closely on the waste management uh, protocols and also jointly with the regional authority as well as with the surrounding communities because these interventions will have a paramount contribution to create uh, a safe and healthful mind waste uh, management uh, systems. The center is now developing action plans to proactively seek funding avenues to grow its externally generated revenue and ensure its financial sustainability beyond donor support. We have uh, written a proposal to pass it and we are waiting for, for the response. And we hope if we, if we wish, I mean, if we win that uh, project, uh, we will be able to uh, fund many uh, students. And uh, even if we don't get any fund from outside, by the way, the university is willing to institutionalize the center and is willing to, to run the, the, the sustainably the project. The Africa Center of Excellence project has raised Harma University's visibility and supported it to enhance its networks with regional and international partners. The other thing is I think uh, the climate smart agriculture and biodiversity conservation. Uh, I think there is no such program in the, in the center at the level of Center of Excellence. So I think for the university it is a very good opportunity uh, uh, even for the future, to excel in this area. Having this center is giving confidence for our partners. Yeah. With this quality postgraduate education, enhanced partnerships with as academic institutions and the private sector, this regional center will deliver the next generation of African professionals in climate smart agriculture, biodiversity conservation and ecosystem management.